Yes. I was trying to hold on to it, but. <laughs> out man just knocked out so he gave he went in pretty good detail there thank you um so when you i guess i'll write it on this one so when you do drink it's like i'll write it on this one i'll go back to this real quick so i know you don't drink for mm -hmm. my um so when, when you first, I'll do the same thing for the THC, so there's like continuity. Okay. So your first like, first time you tried alcohol was when? 18. Okay. I'll probably say you on my 18th birthday. 18. And the last day I left before boot camp. Okay. So 18. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember what you had? Like what kind? 18. No. When I left before boot camp, uh, nineteen then. Was I nineteen? Twenty twenty two. I was nineteen. Okay, so I'll just put when you tried eighteen. So when you tried it at nineteen, I just know it was dark. I don't know. I was drinking a bunch of stuff, and I had hit a pen that night too. So that night was a was a dose. I don't know. Once I hit that, I was already drunk. Before I hit the pen, and then once I hit the pen, it was it was wraps. That was uh, when you left for boot camp. Yeah. Left for boot camp. I'll just write that, then I won't put eighteen because you don't remember what it was. So I'll just put your first sip was when nineteen when you left for boot camp. You had dark liquor. It was. I was just drinking anything. Um, multiple dark liquor. I drank. I think I had a, a, a like a little seltzer. Then once we got to the party, I was just drinking. I had dark and some light stuff. Probably some vodka. I don't know. Dark, light, liquor, and seltzer. Yeah. Um. And so, did you ever? I mean, you're 20 now, so there's never, you know, like continue. No, I don't like when I get when I get drunk. I don't like when I get drunk because then. I'd be feeling like I'm not fully there. So I don't I don't know. I wanna be fully there just in case if something pop off, I'm ready to respond. Yeah. Okay. Um so you never had like a like a consistent use. It's nah. always just you tried it at nineteen and it's been like sparingly every once in a while. Yeah. I'm, I don't just, really, gonna, I'm I don't just gonna put you started at nineteen but you don't drink. Okay. <laughs> and then when was the last time that you drank? Before I left for boot camp. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Um. So, so when you used to smoke, how long did it take you to, like, you know, get your? Let's see what we have. Your five to six months, and how long did that usually take you? Like what you mean? How long? Like how long did it take me to smoke that? So. I don't know, probably like 30 minutes. I don't know. Okay. Because at first, it would um, only take one. Then after so long, uh, one wouldn't do nothing. So then one, that would get me buzzed. And then two, that's when I would really start getting high. You know, that's, that's saying that you need more and more. That's build, you're building up tolerance. Yeah. But I will always stop at two because I, I will just roll two so I could save more. Okay. Now we start spending all the money. Yeah. Okay. And then... <clears throat> The day of the party, um, you said, have there been times that you drank or used drugs more than you intended to? You said no. So the day of the party, that was your intention to smoke for that long, right? What party? Well, when I left a boot camp? When you went to... Leaf? Yeah. Um, well, that was my intention to do what? To hang out with your friends. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah I well, planned it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you should go down drinking when you joined. And when you joined, were you successful on cutting down? Uh, yeah, actually, I was. Okay. Yes. That was the longest I went without smoking since I've been in the Navy. <clears throat> so. And then once I smoked during 20th, that's when I had broke it. So you joined 
What year did you join? When did you join? May 25th, 2022. May 25th, 2022. Joined. Then you popped on January 3rd. No, I don't know when I popped. Because they told me like two months later. Like somebody told me, they was like, yeah, I knew you popped. But they, I just, they didn't tell you nothing. January 3rd of 2023. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't the 3rd. They said I popped on the 5th. Okay. The 5th. So, May, June, July. Okay, yeah. So, you stopped all, all that time. So, you went home and you're like, all right, just one more time with the, the, the friends. Yeah. And the main reason I really did it is because it was my friends. It was with my friends and... It ain't nothing to really do when we back at home. So that's all we did was just, like I said, it was either play the game, go to work, or smoke. And I got tired of doing that. So I, that's the main reason why I joined the military and so I could travel and see stuff. Yeah, I would just say this, like, you know, man to man, mm -hmm. right? Me talking to you, Keenan and Mikhail. They knew you were in the military, right? Mm -hmm. And they still wanted you, they still. I can't, bro. I can't. I understand. I understand. You can't put the blame on them. Because yeah, I'm the one that put the thing, put the blunt to my mouth. So, sure. but I'm just saying, if you're my boy, I know you're in the military. I'm like, okay, bro, chill out, bro. You're spazzing. You're in the military. You got a whole career. Don't be doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're not in the same situation you're in. You gotta do something else. We can kick it. We can drink. Say that. <laughs> it's illegal, right? It's not 21, but I know what you're saying. Kick it, do this, but look, if I'm your boy, I got love for you, mm -hmm. and that means that I'm gonna look out for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to steer you down a different path, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I just think like defining what a friend is, like, and maybe maybe they didn't know, maybe they didn't know, like, you, know, you could you could smoke being in the military, but it's common sense, <laughs> but. I'm just saying, like, look at people who uplift you and challenge you to be better, mm -hmm. right? As, like, friends. There's my own boys are doing this. Some of them are doing the same stuff, and I love them. Love them from a distance. And there's some who, like, they'll push me to be better. Hey, show you got a life now. You can't be on leave while you got a wife. You got kids, bro? Nah, mm -hmm. nah, nah. We're, we're going over here today. We don't need to go see that, that friend group, right? Because mm -hmm. they care about me, even when I don't care about me, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the mark of a friend. Like, they'll care about you even if you don't care about yourself. So, and I know you're just owning up, taking responsibility as you should, you know, like, you're taking responsibility. I just think that there's a piece there just to pay attention to, right? What we define as friends. Mm -hmm. um, and then you wrote, have you ever felt it would be better mood if you could use your substance? So, like, what occasions? You think? Weekends. I mean, like, none of this stuff really stresses me. Like, me, I'm, I'm never stressing, to be okay. honest with you. So, and like my grandma said, when we was back at home, because my uncle and aunt, she, they had stayed with my grandma. And she said, Mikhail, one thing I would say about you is when you don't, when you not, when you don't got weed, you don't be acting different. You still act the same. Because with them, they be acting irritable and all that. But me, she was like, you act the same. You, you not, we not like them. Mm -hmm. So, I would just do it. Basically for fun, to be honest yeah, with you. Just something to do. Yeah. Okay. And then it's just, when I do that, instead of me being all energized and stuff like that, I'd be more like, just chill. Just mm -hmm. be sitting there, chill. Okay. What are some things that you like to do? Like some activities besides, I know you're big into vlogging. Uh, I, like vlog. I really just started getting into that before. That I get it, I got into that before I um got out here. But I'll probably say, I don't know, I'm a very boring guy. That's all right. What are I you interested in, though? Like, interested in? Mm, higher conscious. That's what I'm interested in. And in then... What, in what sense? Like, break we, that down for me. Higher conscious. I don't, I don't know how to break it down. I don't know. You got to probably like, Give watch me an it. example of something. An example of something? Okay. I want to be able to, like, you know what I'm saying, astral project, stuff like that, okay. if you know what that means. I, I can kind of infer, um, but things like the vlogging, higher conscious, you have this free time instead of, I'm just thinking of that other activities mm -hmm. that you can engage in, 
right, besides smoking, because the reality is here, eventually when you leave here, whenever that is, you're mm -hmm. going to have a bunch of free time. Even you're going to have a bunch of free time now. So the challenge is... Oh, I already told myself, nah. Because people was like, oh, yeah, now that you know, you can smoke now. I was like, nah. I, I said, I didn't realize. I mean, I, I, I was like, yeah, I could smoke, but I want to I want to get myself together before I worry about smoking. Like, that's fun stuff. I could do that later. I want to worry about getting on the right track first, and then I could do all the fun stuff later. Yeah. You got a good head, man. You're thinking better than I was. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the, everybody was saying, they was like, well, at least you can smoke now. I was like, yeah, that's cool and all, but I'm not really about to be focusing on that. Yeah, I'm not just going to go and Straight back to do the stuff. same thing that got me to where I'm yeah. fucking at right now. That's dumb as shit. And I left so I could stop doing that. Mm -hmm. right? So that's the main reason why I don't want to go back home. I want to. I'm gonna go back to Cali with my grandfather, because okay. I know if I go back home, I get stuck right back in that same cycle, and I don't got time for that. Cali. What part of Cali? He just live in the hills, so that's even perfect. I'm away from everybody. Is San Bernardino. Right. San Bernardino. Is that San Bernardino, the hills, in California? Oh no, no, it's not called the hills. It's like. Just in the hills, actually, in the hills. Oh. Yeah. You know a city he's in? No. Okay. I had sent him a letter in boot camp, but I can't remember the address. Okay. And he's cool with it? Is he cool nah, with it? No, I still ain't telling him yet. Nobody in my family know besides my uncle. So, you need to reach out to your grandpa, right? Okay. It's my uncle, I know. Wait, you, your uncle's in Cali? He was in Cali. He was he was in Cali doing the HVAC stuff. Okay, but your grandpa's out there right now. Yeah. So you can knock out all the HVAC certs. Okay. And this is they said admin so. What you mean by uh work task codes? What you mean by that? The codes. It's like uh your the separation. Did I say codes? Did I say that? Yeah, that's what Chief Ramirez was talking about too. So the codes are, depending on what separation code you get, is it that it correlates to the what, benefits and stuff. Yeah. Okay. The benefits you get. Okay. Um, which maybe someone that's bully going to have can tell me. Yeah, that's that's why I that's the main reason I'm trying. Okay. What talk is to my them. separation code? And then you can go online. There's all kinds of people who've been like separated and they'll tell you how to like upgrade it afterward or so you can upgrade it. What you mean upgrade it? So if say if you were uh at and step under un, on other on other than honorable terms or something like that, mm -hmm. in some cases you can upgrade it to just honorable terms. So there's a whole process, but if you go online and just look, there's blogs, YouTubers who like go around and say, Okay, if you got stuff under this code you're eligible to upgrade it. If you got separate of this code, you can't. No. Cool, I ain't know all that. That's a bet. So it's just something to look into. Definitely don't look into that. Because Chief Ramirez, he was telling me the same thing. He was like, yeah, once you find out everything he said, if you don't remember anything I'm telling you, remember them codes. Ask for the codes. Yeah, that way, I mean, you can start looking at them now. Like, okay. Can I upgrade if I've been at and set for this? To Can I upgrade if... I received this code for my discharge, and mm -hmm. they'll do a bunch of stuff. Okay. Okay, so so are your parents, accept, are they okay, like, so your mom mm -hmm. and your dad, uh, are they okay with your, your use of marijuana? So that's the main reason why my, me and my grandma got closed. My mom, she always was telling me, stop doing it and stuff like that. But I was like, I'm not about to stop. I mean, it's my life. So, I mean, I get what you're coming from, but this is me. I'm in this I'm in this vessel. This is me. So, I mean, it got to one point. I remember she had uh, kicked me out because I uh, had smoke. And I had to walk from my house all the way to my grandma's house. And it was like 10 o'clock at night and it was windy and shit. And then that little situation right there, that's what made me. I was like, all right, cool. Fuck my mom. We were still cool, but I was like, I have wasn't really fucking with her and that was like that's why every time i would get out of school i would go right to my grandma's house and then me and my grandma we built a closer bond my grandma she um she was actually cool with it actually i remember one time i was uh outside rolling up in the back and she had came out she opened the door and she saw and she looked and i looked at her and she said come help me with the groceries and i said okay and i went and helped her and then i finished and i did what finished rolling up and i smoked and she didn't say nothing 
Like I said, me and my grandma, we got a bond like this. Like, she be telling me her issues. That's how close we is. Do you look back on, like, your mom telling you not to smoke the same now? Or... Like, what you mean? Do you look back on that situation, like, uh, your mom trying to get you to not smoke because she knew it could have, like, negative impacts on you going forward? I mean, no. Have you thought about that? No. So as you think about it now, like, your mom was trying to look out for you. Mm Mm-hmm. Trying to nip this in the butt because she knew it could have negative impacts like this. Mm -hmm. Does that change your perspective on, like, how you, like, feel about her? No. No. I mean, me, like I said, we still we still cool, but this military stuff, it got us way closer now, though. Okay. But she probably going to be mad, but, I mean, it is what it is. Just the, you know, there's love still there. I'm going to say, it's still my mom. Saying, I'm still yeah. not going to be like, fuck you. I'm still going to say, she's still my mom. Yeah. Okay. But she's going to be mad, and it is what it is. Okay. Um, so how do you normally deal with stress? Like I told you, I don't be stressing. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't be stressing. Okay. At all. So it... If you were to deal with stress, what would you do? What What is the situation of stress? Give me an example. You, you got to tell me what stresses you out. I don't know. Nothing be stressing me. I'm telling you. I don't be stressing. Like, I'm the type of person. I'm a nonchalant dude. Like, I might not seem like it, but, like, if something get on my nerves, then I'll be like, okay, it is what it is. I just want to show no attention to it. It is what it is. Okay. I don't like putting my energy in stuff that my energy don't need to be put into. Okay. So... You want to stay until May. Keep it real with me. May, you already went to Catholic Mass. Mm-hmm. So at this point, they have to make sure that you don't need level treatment. And for me talking to you, I don't think... This whole thing's based off DSM-5, right? That's mm-hmm. like the criteria diagnostic manuals. You don't need criteria for substance use, whether that's cannabis or or um, alcohol use. Mm-hmm. You don't even like it, alcohol. Mm-hmm. Last every day was a boot camp. Mm-hmm. So there's no diagnosis there. Um, so I don't think you need treatment. I can provide education if you want to. If, okay. Or I can put return to duty and you go back to life as normal. Okay. Um, but these are the options. If I say return to duty, they'll just continue with their admin process. Okay. If I put education then you'll have to come and i'll just go over some slides with you like probably over the next two or three weeks we'll okay. discuss some slides and at least that way the admin set process will be put on hold okay until that's completed okay but that's really up to you like I'll, i'm gonna go get talk to the doc he's a psychologist and he makes the final decision right mm-hmm. but i'll tell him like we'll talk about um We'll talk about the, all these criteria. You don't meet any of them. Then we'll go into, so you don't have a relapse withdrawal information. There's no biomedical concerns. Um, there's no psychiatric illnesses. Your readiness just change. I mean, you, you know you don't have an issue, right? So suggesting education, I, I would put that as like a moderate or low because since you don't have a diagnosis, I would tell them, oh, there's, it's low because there's nothing there. Um, relapse continued use. I don't, are you going to go out and start drinking and smoking? When you <laughs> oh, here? No, no, no. I thought you were about to say why I'm here. I was like, why would I do that now? Come on now. <laughs> um, no, nah, I'm going to probably try to stay away from that stuff when I get home. Where do you live at right now? In the barracks? Yeah. Okay. Do you have friends who don't smoke and drink? Back at home? Here. In Guam. Uh, yeah, I be going out with my boy Beavers and Ryler. Okay, they they Gidon. They're pretty straight. Yeah. Okay. I'm to be honest with you, I'm really looking out for my boy like Ryler because I heard he been on like some suicidal stuff. So I've been trying to really make sure he's straight because he about to go on debt, and I don't want him. He's dealing with a breakup right now, yeah. and I don't want him dealing with all that while he going on debt since that's my boy. Okay. So yeah, so you're good in my book. Like you said, I think it's an honest mis- it was a, it was a mistake, right? Like, that's what it, that's exactly what I said on the little thing. I was like, "Do you think you need?" It? I was like, "No, I just made a mistake." Yeah. So I don't know what 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 do, what do you want? What do you want? I want to do the education thing. <laughs> okay, you want to do the education? Uh, so I'll spin that to the doc. I think somebody calling you. Oh, okay. 
Oh. They can answer it. So I'll spin that to Doc, um, and that'll at least give us. Because you already did a CO's math. I did DRB, XO, and CO. So at this point, it's just here and paperwork. Mm -hmm. So if we at least do like the two, three weeks of education, and that can postpone it and give you like another paycheck at least. Okay. Um, is there anything you want to like work on during that time? Like, I'll, I'll look through some like stress, anger. Do you get angry? Are you. Only time I would say I get angry that's to the point to where it's crazy is when I play the game. And that's the main reason why I smoked so I didn't get angry to play the game. Because if I play the game sober, oh, something getting broken. All right. So, okay. I'm going to just stand here for a second and I'll see if Doc wants to see you okay. voluntarily. It's either that or we'll have to wait out. I'll have you wait in the lobby. Okay. Okay. 20 years old, right? Yes, sir. You've been in nine months? Yes. All right. right back. What? You gonna see if this nigga can put some word in for me. Let your niggas know when it's done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to go look at this 26 year old. Go help her pack. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll clap. We'll see. Say, so, you no, know, I'm just playing. I might just go help her pack. So I'll let you know when I'm there. So I'm back. Okay. First, let me just break it down to you. Got there at 10, left at 10 30. So, I'm going to break it down. It's a pretty simple story. Pretty much, I get there. As soon as I get to the door, Shorty's a catfish. I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, cuz. So, I get in there. I'm chilling. I'm sitting down on the bed. We talking this shit. That's my mom. We talking this shit. Long story short, the bitch was on my dick the whole night. Right? She keeps saying, I'm young, I'm young, this. I mean, which I don't really care, but bitch, if I'm young, fuck is you telling me come over for? But, yeah. Pretty much catfish. Got in. Said, oh yeah. She said, what's your bad time? She said, you got a bad time. I know you got one. I said, sure do. At 11 o'clock. Said this shit around like 10, 20, 10, 15, whatever. She was like, you came in and you wasted your time. I was like, oh, I ain't waste my time. <laughs> I ain't waste my time. I could have wasted my time, but bitch, I didn't. So, and I barely use any gas, so I'm definitely not tripping. But she blocked on everything. The bitch blocked on fucking the shit I saw on, and I blocked the bitch number. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, good night. I'll see you bitch ass niggas tomorrow. I gotta do a fucking PT. Eat my shorts. Good night, niggas.